Hello, beautiful Sagittarius friends. Welcome. My name is Donna. We're here for a love reading, past, present, and future. What's going to happen in love for Sagittarius? Welcome, everyone. If you're new, thank you for stopping by and welcome back to my beloved subscribers. We have the opening energy of the Five of Wands for the past competition, low level strife, or egotistical strife sort of ego-driven battles, the death card, and the moon card, Sagittarius. What happened? What happened, my friends? That is not great energy. That's that's really, you have two major arcanas here. Okay, now your current energy, now that's beautiful. Sag, Leo energy, we have the strength card. We have the eight of coins, beautiful, good. But we have the 10 of swords also. So you're feeling betrayed. You're feeling very stabbed in the back by someone who was kept you in the dark, by someone who ended something and put you into a, um, a situation in which I think you had to fight for your yourself. The King of Wands energy is in the future. Again, Leo energy. We have the Five of Coins, though. You're feeling very much left in the cold, very much abandoned. The Five of Coins can be spiritual but it can also quite literally be you know feeling put out on the sidewalk and ignored we do have the page of wands so throwing caution to the winds so that's um let's take a look at the clarifiers here now the moonology deck is going to give us the theme of this reading sag okay so let's see what the overall theme of this reading or the lessons to be learned whatever you can do to help yourself because You've got some great energy here, but you are you are getting over something. This is, it looks like many of you are getting over a very, very, a very difficult breakup, a very difficult situation in which there was a, a deep level betrayal. The end of a cycle, oh, as tough cycle approaches, I love it. A win-win outcome is forecast and luck is on your side. We get the luck because you are so strong. That self-made luck. Leo means you are going forward. You're throwing caution to the winds, even though you feel really, really um, sad. I mean, this is just kind of a story of heartbreak, but you are bravely going into the future. I love the Leo energy here for you. It's very compatible with your sign. Sagittarius, there you are in the reading. So let's go ahead and clarify the cards and see what we have here. We will pull also two oracle cards, the Shaman's Dream Oracle for advice at the end. Okay, Five of Wands energy. Why is Five of Wands? Tell us about the competitive ego-driven battles in the past in this love relationship. Nine of Wands. Somebody really put you into a situation where it was very burdensome, very heavy. But again, it looks like they were dating random people. It looks like they didn't tell you. The Empress. Emperor card is Aries energy. It's clarifying the death card. So you're taking control. You're taking control of a situation that was just way too burdensome. You know, you don't need to be put into some weird situation where you're trying to compete for a lover's attention with other people. The moon card says that that's like smoky trails, a lot that you didn't know. So tell us why this card is here. Wheel of Fortune. Interesting. The Wheel of Fortune. Why would the Wheel of Fortune be clarifying the Moon card? What you don't know is good temperance. Okay. Why is temperance here? King of Cups. Six of Swords. Okay. Let's see what we have here for the Death card. We have the Emperor. So taking command of the situation... You still have fire in your belly for this. What is going on? Why is the death card clarified by the emperor? The strength card. Oh, wow. This is going to be a really complicated reading for interpretation purposes. A hanged man. Okay. Let's see here what we've got. Why, was, why is this so heavy on Sag? Why is this five of wands? The empress card. Wow. Okay. So this is becoming something that's pretty clear here it looks as though your person has an attachment to someone else um, i think for many of you you're in a situation where you're dating somebody or you've been seeing someone 
who was ending a relationship but it it would be like being on a dating site and you think you're dating somebody exclusively but they're dating a lot of different people they're going through a divorce and they're not really telling you what's going on okay that's how i'm reading that um, but the present energy is that you feel very much stabbed in the back and left in the cold in the, in the near future. So what I see here for the competition, you're coming in as Empress energy with the desire to fight for the relationship. Empress energy is Taurus energy. And the, the Sagittarius energy, Nine of Wands is Sagittarius. You have the desire to fight for this person. But the hanged man, the strength card, and the emperor, you feel this is your divine counterpart. So I get this is this feels very twin flamey to me. This feels very uh, sort of a destiny driven kind of set of uh, set of experiences for you. The hanged man says that you have the strength to hold on while this person finishes a transformation in their life. It looks as though they could be going through, or you could be going through a divorce in which, you know, you're keeping things secret. But take it as it resonates. Whenever we do a general reading, there are usually several different storylines. So choose which is yours. And then in the comments below, let me know if you would be so kind. But the hanged man says that you're taking pause to go through a period of healing and transformation. The strength card doubled tells me that you are very powerful and the emperor energy is aries so you now have aries leo and sagittarius energy you have a grand shrine of good luck and good fortune astrologically speaking in this reading okay it's an astrological aspect divine love emperor empress okay so let's see what we have the smoky trails and the things that this person are not is not telling you Ah, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so this is going to be fortunate for you, but it does, it's kind of a twist, a plot twist. The reason is, is that what they're not telling you is that they are trying to fix things with a past person, the temperance card, reconciliation, somebody that they love, and that's caused a battle between, you know, the two of you. So what I'm seeing is that you're in a, a tough situation because if this is not you healing with all this beautiful energy, it's your person who's not telling you, which is then feeling like betrayal. And it feels as though, you know, the five of pentacles that you are not being treated fairly, that you're really being put aside. That's how you feel. So let's go ahead and clarify the strength card. Divine love, though, this is what makes it twin flame right here, okay? And all of this energy is very twin flame energy. Okay, so now we have the strength card clarified by the seven of swords, okay? The seven of swords, as you most of you know, who watch tarot, is a card of deception or sneakiness or not letting something be seen while you take advantage of of a situation so let's see what that is the king of wands energy is clarifying the strength card and it's next to the king of wands so you are taking control in this situation you are taking your power back you are standing in your power you're honoring your yourself the two of cups energy speaks to the fact that you know you want this love relationship and you're going to stand by your person but you're also standing by yourself. You're not going to let this pull you apart, Sag. That's what I'm seeing. The Eight of Coins here is why. Why is the Eight of Coins here? We have the Five of Swords. Oh, the two most hated cards in the deck, two of them are the Five and Seven of Swords. The Five of Swords is a really raw battle that is completely unfair. While you're working away here, while you're really putting your all into this, the Five of Swords is telling me with the Seven of Swords that even though you're standing by your person, they're not standing by you. Okay, and that's what the Ten, that brings us to the Ten of Swords energy. They're over here with the Smoky Trails doing their thing and trying to create a reconciliation with a partner who they told you they were ending things with. Okay, the Ace of Wands, you are taking action 
to the death card twice. You are taking action to heal a situation, to find your happiness with the tower moment. Tower and death is almost always a total obliteration of a relationship. The Ten of Wands, you're giving up the burdens that this person has placed on you. The Six of Coins, you are going to go out, equal give and take, and you are seeking a relationship in which there are traditional values and someone is really going to honor you. I see you taking off in this beautiful direction. You are feeling heartbroken, but you are brave, 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 Sagittarius. I love this energy for you. So Sagittarius, let's see. Let's see why the King of Wands is here. Remember, the King of Wands has appeared twice again in the reading. We have the Three of Cups. So for some of you, you know, you, you're in this situation where you're just going to accept things, you know, but Three of Cups, you want to go out, you want to have fun, you want to celebrate, you're going to go spend time with friends. The Nine of Cups is reversed, so it does show that at a higher level of happiness you're you're just not feeling as though this person is your wish fulfillment they are not um, but we do see the six of cups so there is hope for reconciliation between the two of you but this has really been very painful and very you know you're not liking it the magician card look at that the magician card you have all the tools to rectify feeling left in the cold what are these tools, please, Spirit? Tell us the tools that Sagittarius can utilize in this situation. The Eight of Wands, passion. Finding a passionate connection will help you come in out of the cold, throwing caution to the winds. But you're in this beautiful energy. Six of Cups, Three of Cups equals Nine. So by taking this beautiful action with friends, with old acquaintances, you will meet somebody new. And this person you've decided over here is going to, they're not your wish fulfillment at this time. So you're going to beat the drum. You're moving forward very beautifully. You know, when I love this energy for you. I mean, what could be better than the magician and the eight of wands? The power, the absolute willpower to get through the situation, to power through, to find your voice, to find your passion. Holding yourself in high regard again, regardless of what's happened to you. You are empress or emperor energy in this situation what is why is the page of wands here the page of wands is here the four of oh my god this is beautiful the page of wands is saying throw caution to the winds and go for the gold here's your twin flame card right there the the 11 11 the four of wands so tell us what because what i'm seeing here is if you just pull out of the situation and move forward. You just say, you do you, I'll do me, I'll cope with what all this is that you're doing over here. And at the end of the day, you're going to throw caution to the winds. You're going after passion. You're going after love. So let's see what your person does here because we have the five of coins. So again, you're accepting and they are leaving you in the cold in this twin flame situation for now. It is a divine love situation, but your person is, you know, as we look at this, as you go for what you need and want, your person is going to stay the course over here with trying to figure out a possibility of a reconciliation. Now, the Two of Swords says that you're going to ignore this. You're not going to let it get to you. That, you know, at the end of the day, we have the nine of coins and that's you being single you being happy being single you really staying again very much in your power very happy feeling very content about yourself feeling very good so let's look and see what else we have that we can see here for you knight of swords okay so there you are you're it, it does appear from the reading that you're probably the single person in this triangle in this situation in which you've had so your feelings of betrayal five seven and ten of swords here you're coming in knight of swords you are truth telling what is the truth telling that's going on in this situation when you throw caution to the winds and you take care of yourself and you start dating 
we get the five of cups so somebody comes in with an apology so it does appear that your person over here is going to come in with an apology after not having spoken to you for a while now i think this is not going to be soon i do think it's going to take a bit let's look and see what the quality of the apology is what they're going to do okay let's see we have queen of swords energy so whatever it is that they're doing doesn't really even matter to you at this point your queen of swords energy with the moon card is you are going to likely uh, for most of you cut this person out of your life because they put you in the dark and they were deceptive tell us what else sag will do with this re relationship you don't have to choose a twin flame relationship especially when there's deception and this painful situation the six of wands you have a victory in love why is there a victory in love ace of cups a new beginning so for some of you this is going to be a new beginning with your person when they come in for most of you i think it is not i think you're going to absolutely allow the tower and the death card the seven of swords the five of swords the five of coins i feel as though with the yeah the ten of swords i just feel like most of you are going to say I'm walking away, I'm walking into the life I'm going to choose, I'm going to leave all of this negativity behind. So let's see what the Shaman's Dream Oracle says. Now remember how beautiful the Moonology is, the end of a tough cycle approaches, because you, you are the one who takes yourself out of this. So even with the Five of Coins energy, I feel as though you're doing that that you, you said to yourself, I'd rather be out in the cold than to be lied to, uh, than to be deceived. And we see the win-win forecast, that there's no way you can lose in this, and that luck really is on your side. You will have divine love. You know, we have divine love with more than one person, in my opinion. But again, that's, that's it can be very controversial in the tarot community. But I really see you in this incredibly beautiful healing energy. You have to taken it upon yourself to live the good life, to uh, manifest your dreams, and to, with the Queen of Swords energy, uh, go after new love, throw caution to the winds, and cut that which doesn't serve you out. So I'm going to go down this row and look at the dream, uh, the dream oracle of the shamans. Falling, falling angel, spiritual narcolepsy is what your person was in when they put you in this Five of Wands energy. Tell us about the death card and what it means for our beautiful Sagittarius friends. What's the advice about this? In the hand, the universe is your partner. So you really are being protected. You know, your win-win the universe is protecting you with this. It's by removing it from your life, you know, it feels like, what is that saying? Rejection is protection. So that's what I'm getting here. Dust devil, moving out of stagnation. Yep, that's what you're doing. That's what spirit recommends. Sagittarius, you're brave, you're bold. I'm excited. You have new love coming in because you're taking action and you're standing in your power. Thanks so much, Sag. Thank you so much.